I'm Julie Heimbach. I'm a liver transplant surgeon at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I would like to tell you about the results of our study on neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy followed by liver transplant for patients with perihilar cholangiocarcinoma, a national experience. The aims of our study were to determine whether the outcomes that we had observed at our own center in treating patients with perihilar cholangiocarcinoma with neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy followed by liver transplant could be effective at other centers around the United States. In order to accomplish this, we recruited all centers in the United States who had treated more than three patients with, with perihilar cholangiocarcinoma with neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy followed by liver transplantation. All centers that had treated more than three patients were invited to participate we were able to recruit 12 centers around the United States and uh, include a total of 287 patients in our study. Looking at outcomes among all 12 centers, we were able to establish that patients could in fact achieve excellent results with 65% disease-free survival at five years following this aggressive treatment protocol. A second aim of our study was to determine if the waitlist exception that they currently achieve on the transplant waiting list is appropriate. Right now, patients with this diagnosis are granted a score, which is meant to approximate their weightless dropout or their weightless survival while they're awaiting transplant. That current score is estimated at a 10% weightless dropout per three months. Our study showed that their three-month dropout rate is approximately 11%. Thus, it appears that the score that they have been granted is appropriate. These were the two primary aims of our study. We were able to accomplish these aims and most importantly, demonstrate that we can achieve excellent results using this protocol at many centers around the country.